Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna cover how to pitch, present and demo your products and services in the way that people want to buy from you. And we're gonna cover the structure, best practices and the worst practices. So let's go with it. The first thing is that important to know the first biggest myth that will help you to sell better in your demo is debunking the biggest myth. And the biggest myth sounds like this. You need to show demo and or pitch deck to every prospect that you encounter with because this will help to persuade them and move forward. So here are two Two main things that are wrong. First thing that you need to show the demo to everybody and second thing that the more information you show to people, the more slides you show to people, the more persuaded they're gonna be. No, this is not how this thing works. So the first thing, in reality, people don't care about you and you know this, every, every sales people tell you about this, but the problem is implementing this knowledge. So what everybody's doing, they speak with everyone, they speak how great they are, how great company there is, and you see this all over the place, in web free, out of web free, how good our products and services are, but I don't know, 5%, maybe 10%, maybe 1% of demo focuses on actually what the prospect wants. And this is the key thing. Instead of, if you have a thousand products, why do you pitch thousand products to your, to your product, to your prospect? Isn't it wiser to learn what they specifically want, understand that they are interested in product ABC, like in free products out of thousand, and focus your 20 minutes that you have with this prospect on expanding more on those things? Because this is what actually there, what is actually important for them, and this is what they want to solve and why do you cover everything in your demo this is problem number one the problem number two is that you are doing this for everybody you shouldn't pitch you shouldn't demo for everybody because not everybody gonna buy from you and if you waste your energy and you invest your energy with everybody this means that at the end of the day, your return on investment is not wise. So you need to demo and you need to invest into customers that you're sure that are going to move forward. And you know that they're going to move forward when they are qualified. And we covered a lot of qualification criteria. How do you qualify? How do you do the discovery call? Because uh, in, the, in the latest video, I'm going to link them up there. They're super important that you need to disqualify majority of your prospects and only move with those that are qualified. And by qualified, what I mean, I mean that they have qualified, quantified pain, meaning that this thing costs us 10k per month if we, do, we of not fixing it and then next thing then they're ready to solve it and the third thing they have money and they have resources to do this they have internal resources they can align their internal stakeholders they have money to pay for this they have people to do this everything is aligned if something of these points are missing you don't do the demo for them you you can ask nikolai but why like this is the main th sense like they they can do this in the future yes they can yes but they they, they cannot do you you never know like it, it's it's a bet. Every time that you pitch for a prospect that is not qualified, you're basically gambling that they're going to move forward. And in majority of the cases, like 80% of the cases, they're not going to do this. So what you can do with them instead of pitching them, and if you do not want to lose this prospect, just send them informational video. Instead of you pitching and demoing for every prospect, just do one video where this, there's basically going to be an overview of your deck and send it to your prospect. Don't waste energy send them your website uh, with the overview of the products like show them give them more information because you are a salesperson you're there to solve problems not to vomit information for them they can learn all the information online from youtube videos from uh, websites this is not your job your job as a salesperson connect with these people understand whether it's whether it makes sense for you to work with them right now if it is you show them the demo you move them forward you close them if not you say goodbye and you start looking for people that are ready to move forward right now this is it you don't do the informational demo you don't educate your prospects on the call because if you educate your prospects on the call this is the very value this is low value task and for low value task you have low value payment if this is the thing that you want educate whoever like everybody who you want this is not what I want. This is not what majority of people that are watching this channel want. They want to maximize their earning potential. They want to move their projects forward. They want to win, they dominate the market. So you dominate the market by solving your clients' problems and working with people that are ready, that are serious and are ready to move forward right now. Enough of that. Next thing is what we have. Uh, simple but true. This is the reframe. So when you are when you are dealing with when you start selling to people that are only qualified and you start covering points one to three for them, you uh, 
want to solve the problem for them you need to you need to align you need to hear what they're telling to you and align your your solution with what they're telling to you so if they tell nikolai we have problems with abc you tell them okay so we have product a that solves problem a we have product b that solves problem b and we have product c that solves problem c and this is for example how uh, and you start showing references and you just start improving and double down on those points you don't waste your time send your product offerings like for for those people that are unqualified let them do it on youtube for those people that are qualified you only invest time with them you only work with them and the more people that you have demos booked in the easier it's going to be for you to disqualify them and don't show the demo because if you have only one call in one in a week it's very hard for you to say no to the prospect if you see that they're not a good fit but if you have 15 20 calls in a week then for you it's a matter of time like what you are looking for the best prospect and once you find the best prospect you want to work with them so this is the position where you want to be and this is what this video is all about next the structure of the demo demo is very simple like it's similar to the discovery call that I'm again gonna link there because the discovery call is the most important thing demo as this is a common misconception a lot of people think that demo is super important it's not because they don't care about your product they don't care what you can do they only care about the results they only care about what is gonna be in it for them so if you did a very good job in the beginning in the discovering I'm where I'm sharing all the pain questioning or the questions that you typically need to ask to, to find out the pain to dig very deep once you know all of that information and uh, you can show they, they trust you that you can do this you don't even need the demo but if you are here in the pitch where you're pitching them when you're showing them information when you're educating them when you're having stakeholders basically the way it goes you have the introduction one two minutes um, typically you're demoing uh, or showing the demo to multiple people uh, to stakeholders to basically you need to understand them what the, what their needs there that's why you have the bridge section uh, in the bridge section you're learning what these people want to see in the demo then you have the demo 20 minutes like where you can show them the live product where you show them the service where you show them the pitch deck whatever it may be and there is the next steps that are like five minutes and i'm going to cover in the next video like exact framework how do you do this practically i'm going to show you the pitch deck i'm going to show you all the best practices how the demo pitching differentiates from the um for, from the presentation pitching all of this stuff you're going to see in the next video because it's going to be more practical this video is like a theory block that you understand what are we even talking about this this is unconventional information majority of people don't know about this that's why they don't sell like this that's why you just implementing this this stuff will be in the position of them because you're going to stand out and those people that stand out they close the sale because they are unique and you and i want you to be unique i want to be myself unique this is the thing that i'm learning and i want to share it with you that's why if there is a home training in this video you first thing that you can do if you want to implement this information that you can adopt the mindset of demo like only to qualify you demo only to qualify every like if you if because every time that you demo to unqualified people you are invest of the return on investment the um, return on investment so you invest your time and energy is very very uncertain you don't know like it, it, from my experience in majority of the cases they will never close so you demo to qualified people and to everybody else it's up to your choice and up to your gut and up to your uh, risk taking if you want to take this risk do this next thing always include next steps in your demo aka pricing this is super important like the demo should always have the next steps and the next steps typically lead to contract negotiation or to the setup to the implementation to something you always you need to be very clear what is the goal of your demo the goal of your demo is to get a yes from the client the goal of your demo is to make them realize something the goal of the demo is to agree to a certain price this and that we're going to cover this pricing part in the next video and you third you tailor your pitch to whatever they want to learn even right now without and uh, without having this second video that gonna launch on Friday so today is Tuesday next next is Friday you can start tailoring your presentation to learn to, to, to telling them what they want to hear don't make the job harder for you just learn what they want and show them how you can bring this to them that's it don't make the job harder for you by bringing in more information by bringing more products more services because this is just gonna make it worse they're gonna feel that you want to upsell them and they gonna less trust you if there is less trust there is less probability for sale and for close so without further ado guys this video is ending wishing you have, have a fantastic day implementing this crush your quota and Subscribe to the Web Free Sales Gym. Get your friends into Web Free Sales Gym. If you're here for the first time, 
enjoy. There is a huge amount of videos. I'm going to link the different videos and um, uh, playlists here. So have a good one and see you. Bye bye.